been asked today to speak on the Women in Leadership panel, and uh, what I really want to try and explore in the very brief time I have in that session is what team leadership means. Now, when people hear the word team leadership, they usually think of a leader of a team. And what I want to explore is leadership as a team, working together to lead. It could be joint leadership, just two people, or it could be a more complex structure. And that's really what I want to explore, because I think team leadership will use many of the unique qualities that women bring to the workplace and it also gives us an opportunity to bring different qualities to bear in a team and it may give a useful step up for somebody who doesn't feel ready to be a sole leader. Women are people. People bring themselves into business and I think actually that's the core of it. The, the more of yourself, your authenticity, your passion, your real self that you can bring into the workplace, the better that is. And the workplace is getting much better. Women are able to bring much more of themselves into the workplace now than they were, say, 10 or, eight, or 20 years ago. Um, I think women do have different qualities to men but also women have lots of different qualities to other women and this is why I'm so keen on the idea of team leadership and using the many qualities that different people bring men and women young and old from different backgrounds different races different perspectives and bringing those together so that you can get the most out of a team and lead as a team whether you're selling to a customer who's a consumer or you're uh, providing a service to somebody who's not necessarily a customer, like in my field, in the healthcare field, you provide services or sell goods to a very wide range of people. And we all know that it's much easier to have a relationship with somebody if you have something that you can sympathize with in that person. And nobody can be all things to all people. Therefore, if you have a wider leadership team and a diverse leadership team, you have more chances of people finding those connections. I think we still have a long way to go right down at this level. I'm talking three and four year olds. We still have an in an instinct to treat little girls different from little boys. We still, I think, have an instinct that boys lead, girls follow. So first thing, we've got to start it right down there. And within Cisco, I'm just about with a bunch of colleagues in a team about to lead an event which we're calling Cisco Kids Adventure Day, which is all about showing children, boys and girls, the wide perspective of a technical job like Cisco. And allowing their talents to show through. So what can we do to help women become leaders? Help women identify what their talent is, their unique selling point if you like. Identify it, work on it and bring it into the team so that it can be used. Jump's been here for five years. I think it's amazing. It's had huge impact. Lots of people, both men and women, have benefited from Jump. Uh, I'd love to see it go from strength to strength and get a really firm foothold in Belgium. If there's one thing that I would like to see Jump do more of, it, that is reach down into the upcoming generation, right down into school age kids, school age girls, give them the confidence that they need to be the leaders of the future.